Hello. Hola. Hi. Como estas? Oh, bien. It's here. It's oh. happening. It's all happening. It is we happening. Are. It hey. Hey. Hi. 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 Familiar faces. That Love makes it. it a friendly table, right? This is yeah. a friendly table. It is. All oh, right. So you can tell us all. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Five minutes. Go ahead. Yeah, five all minutes. Right. So, Justin, are you planning on directing any episodes? Uh, no. Okay. Next. <laughs> I've been wanting to talk to you all year about Rob Hater and the work you guys were doing with him on 13 and yeah. what is going to be different about that for Michael. This is the fight coordinator, the new fight coordinator Supernatural has, who I think is unbelievable putting like characterization into the fighting. And I know you're really into this. Please talk about it. Uh, Rob's been fantastic. He's been a great addition. We, we do miss our dear Lou. Uh, who decided to, to hang it up and uh, and I think he had, I think he'd stayed on a little longer than anticipated. I, I don't think anybody realized that the show was going to go this long. Um, I mean, you talked to you talked to Bob Singer and he's like, I, I wanted to retire years ago, but these <laughs> these guys won't let me. Um, uh, so yeah, with, with uh, the departure of Lou, sad but understandable. We love him, we miss him, but with the addition of Rob, it's been really uh, really cool and unique. And um, he certainly has, has brought in a, a, a flair. Um, that is uh, very relevant, I think, and, and evident on the show. There's so much like tactical fighting in 13, grabbing things, like blocking things, and I'm just wondering, like, and that's very like Dean mindset for me. So for Michael, if you've done a lot of fighting yet, what's the Michael fight? So, uh, funny you should ask, there was a bit of a fight scene written in the first episode. In fact, in that scene that we saw during the panel, um, were, did you all see that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Thoughts. Oh, I loved it. Oh, it's so great. awesome. It's beautiful. I love it. So I'm a little it. nervous about it. No, I love it. I love it. And I'm, yeah, no, it's okay. great. I think you know, the Arabic. Like, yeah, yes. that was not easy. I know. Like, they, I mean, like, first of all, there was a first scene I filmed coming back, and it was, I was like, okay, I played this totally new character. It was like a five page scene. Uh, by the way, that was half the scene yeah. that we saw. Oh. Yeah. yeah, there's a fight scene in that scene. That we didn't even see. Well, you saw him get up and go, go for it, go for it uh, for me. So, I will say this. Uh, anyway, the, so the, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna have you uh, recite some uh, some verses from the Quran too." I was like, "Sorry, what?" <laughs> so not only could I not, not only did I need to like uh, learn the Arabic, I couldn't get any of it because it was like. It had to be like it a verse, yeah. Yeah. you know. Yeah. It was a holy verse. Yeah. So yes, that was very nerve wracking. But um, getting back to the fight, so there was a fight scene written in that first scene, and uh, I called up Andrew and I said, you know, I don't know that um, I don't know that Michael necessarily needs to get his hands dirty. And he was like, Oh, I like that. All right. So. There is a, there is some stunt work that happens. Michael doesn't even lift a finger. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of cool, and, and that. Uh, um, and so I, I've been talking to Rob about it. He was like, "Hey, I love it because I still get to do some cool stuff. You just don't have to do anything." I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That was fascinatingly not Dean. Yeah. And I was, I sort of was watching the whole time trying to figure out why it was so not D. I don't know, it was, it was the lack of emotionality or the lack of humor or sort of he has a slower way of speaking. It was, it was strikingly different. Yeah. Was that hard? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I was constantly having to uh, go through checklists in my brain uh, while I was performing. There was something where I was kind of trying to do it with my eyes, where I was kind of keeping my eyes a little bigger and not blinking as much. Yeah. Um, slowing down the pace of the speech. Yeah. Not making it as colorful. Yeah. Making it a little bit more monotone. Um, and then constantly telling myself, you are omnipotent, you are omniscient. You can do anything you want. You are, you are the, the biggest, baddest uh, archangel there is. He's so like, anxious all the time as well. Like he's so like, well, like, like anxious, but like tense all the time. And Michael's just like don't care. Right. Yeah. And the the, the kind of cool swagger. And I, I'm so like in my head while I'm while I'm performing. I'm also like constantly rifling through these thoughts of like stand tall but be cool. And I, I'm good. I'm glad at least some of that came across. It's palpable. It's palpable. Thank you. Now that we know Michael's in control, what's next? Is the season again? Where are we going? What's his agenda? Can you tell us? 
So he is essentially looking for a reason uh, or uh, a um, a race uh, of people or animals or what, creatures, whatever it might be, uh, to save and to uh, and then he will start this cleansing, essentially. Yeah. Uh, Brad's told us there are going to be episodes that um, feature you as Michael, but there is no Dean perspective inside his head. What is it like to have like an episode where Dean is not there? How do you it's, feel about that? It's uh, it's different. It's difficult in, I would say, one major regard, and that is I'm playing this this completely different character in the same environment that I've been playing Dean in. Last 13 years. It's not like working somewhere else. It's not like working on a different set with different characters and different actors and different, you know, in a different city with a different director. It's all the same people and all the same faces and all the same set designs and stuff that I've been very comfortable in for the past 13 years. And now I'm having to disregard all of that and go against all my, you know, all these instincts that I normally just rely on. Uh, that's making it a little bit more difficult, but it's also making it challenging and fun. So it's, uh, you know. Have you gotten to a point where uh, Michael is interacting with Sam? No, not or, yet. So, because that's going to be. Real. We're only one episode in. We okay. just started the second episode on Friday, and I haven't started working on that episode yet. And so, do you? How do you anticipate handling? I mean, now you you are a different person completely um, interacting with somebody who is. You've done it the other way around. Yeah. But you've never done it where you're not Dean interacting with uh, Sam and Castillo. I will... Hey, Holly. I need to... I need a... Am I allowed to tell, say this? <laughs> Console. <laughs> <laughs> um, Please let him say it. Sure. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Holly. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> it, uh, that concerns me much less than the scene I just did with another actor on the show. Uh, Which one? My wife. Oh, interesting. Okay. 